What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Check this out. It's the uh, the Balanced Diet shirt. Uh, officially, uh, not officially, almost officially done. I need to fix one part of the eye, but after that, I'm gonna be the shirts are gonna be um, live, and we're gonna be able to purchase them, um, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm actually pretty happy with how these how this turned out. I like this material. I think it's gonna it's a good quality shirt that's gonna last and not gonna be wasting money. But um. Besides the point, but I had a really good day fishing some local stuff, um, ended up catching quite a few fish, caught some fish later in the day as well on a caddis pattern while they were eating midges. So I'm not going to tie that because that has nothing to do with what, why they were eating it. It was just a dry fly that was around the same size, I think. But, um, we're going to sling out just to, basically the fly that, that all these fish ate. I've already tied in a couple videos. Um, but I want to stick to the theme of tying the fly and then fishing it so that you guys can see exactly the fly that was fished and how to tie it and all that good stuff. So let's get into it and enjoy. <clears throat> okay. So one of the flies that was eaten today is a thread Frenchie. I've already tied this a couple times, so I'm not going to tie this one specifically. It's a good pattern. It works. Um, this is a size 16. I'm going to tie basically it's, a, it's really a similar fly with a different red color, but I'm going to at least show you guys how to tie it just for the, for the sake of you seeing exactly what I'm doing with these flies. Okay, so this bead is a little bit too big in my opinion, but it's intentionally that size just because I, I like it with, I like it having a little bit more lead there just, just so that I'm able to get away with not having to use lead wire. But, um, and then we're gonna use a, this is a six aught UTC or UNI um, thread here. Very, uh, very standard thread I feel. Nothing special, but, um, Definitely is a uh, a really fishy color. I really enjoy fishing olives and a lot of natural colors in my bugs, especially if I'm going to tie a small natural fly. I want it to be natural all the way through, not just in some scenarios. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a tiny little thread base down, just like so. I'm going to wrap back. And as you can see, this fly is going to be relatively lean. Um comparatively okay so we have some pheasant tail and again pheasant tail isn't the most durable material but at the same time I feel like it's fine and in a lot of the time I'm fishing these flies and their tail gets ripped off and they're still catching fish the entire time so I don't really personally think that having a tail, like fish have time really to even look at the tail and make that decision. That one is kind of messed up. I'm just gonna cut this one cause it's a little too long. Okay. So I want that tail to be right around that length, just about the, a quarter of the length of the fly. And I'm gonna tie that in and then I'm just gonna break it off. It breaks right off. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my thread all the way to the head of the fly. I like to tie this with a copper uh, wire. This is just a uh, size small copper uh, wire. I really like olive and copper. I think it's a good contrast of color. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna build a tiny bit of a taper on this fly just so that it looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna take my wire. I'm gonna wrap it up the fly nice and uniform. I'm usually pretty happy if I can get around four wraps before I get to the head of the fly, like so. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this like that, and then I'm gonna helicopter it off. Okay, there's that. Um, and then I'm just gonna use some uh, olive semi seal, and then a little bit of this just kind of flashy orange um, hot spot right there. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a tiny bit of this dub and you could use hair's ear dub or you know, some sort of, you know, thinner, more uh, natural dub. But I really enjoy semi seal. I think it gives it a nice look. And they're a little bit longer fibers, so I can I feel like I can pick it out and get a little bit more control over the bugginess of the head, which essentially me putting this dubbing body up here makes it so that I don't have to um, put a small set of legs on this fly because it's going to build that profile up just enough so that fish are going to see it and genuinely think that it's legs they're looking at as opposed to just a thorax. 
Okay, I'm going to take my orange hotspot, tie it in just like so. And I'm going to give it a quick whip finish, like so. Make sure it's nice and tight. And I'm going to cut it. And then, usually, um, I usually, I'll just take a little bit of glue. I'll kind of tear this off like this. So, I'll put a nice little, whoa, that was a lot. Nice little dab of super glue. That was more than I like to do usually. But that's the fly right there. That's what actually caught the most fish on the day um, yesterday. So let's get fishing and I hope you guys uh, enjoy. What's going on, you guys? Welcome to another video. It's been a minute. Apologies. Um, I'm doing some urine nymphing on one of my favorite little stretches of the, of a river that I live pretty close to. Um, I was just coming to check it out and test it a little bit. I ended up getting into the fish, so it's been cool. Um, we're kind of having to pick apart a little bit different water than you typically would because it's still early spring, so the water is notably colder than similar situations, like obviously in summertime. Um, so I'm kind of picking apart the slower pockets and trying to find some fish, and we've been finding some. So let's uh, see if we can get some. Okay, so the rig's pretty simple, kind of the usual setup. Got a dirty. Um, size 16 mayfly pattern. I'm gonna see if you guys can see that there. And then a thread Frenchie and a size 18 is the bottom fly. Water's still really clear, pretty low, so we haven't really had any spring runoff conditions. Using the Cortland Mark II European Nymphing Rod, the competition rod. La, 10 and a half foot three weight, pretty fun stick. And uh, we're gonna start by picking apart this little pocket here and some of these slower pockets in the middle of the river and kind of all over the place, so let's get at it. Get another good drift over here. Oh, well, and that is how you mess up a run. Got a really large midge hatch coming off. But let's see if I spook anything out of here. I don't really see much. Yeah, not much. Not much in there, not as much as I thought. Oh, there's one. Spooked a dink, but this is a lot deeper than I thought it was. There you go, right there, right away. Nice. Holy crap. <laughs> Little dude. But, a fish nonetheless. So I'm happy camper, ate that small mayfly pattern. Send him out of here. Cool. I have a pretty good feeling about this soft water underneath this bridge. Because in years past, I've looked off the bridge and see a number of fish hanging out right here. So if I can stay low, I might be able to get a good shot at some Let's see if I can hop here and not die. Ooh. Okay, I'll save that fish for later. I see a really solid fish. Oh, he's coming right at me. I need to stop moving. Swimming right down the river. I'm gonna try and get a bug on him. He's like cruising, watch this. Calling it. Watch this fish eat this. Oh, he's on his way over. He sees it. Oh, eat it you dick. Oh, he swam so far to look at that fly. <sighs> Tense moments. I'm gonna hop down, see if I can sneak on him without spooking him. All right, no go on that fit. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's under the log. Gosh, dang it. I didn't see him go underneath there. Saw a good fish come up up here. There he is. Let's see if he'll eat. Oh, he ate. <laughs> nice. That's rad. Woo! Cool. It's a good fish too. Nice. That's awesome. Look at that dude. It's a great fish. Again, great is subjective depending on where you're at. When you're on the land, that is a beautiful brown trout. Nice. I know there's a lot more nice fish in this run too, so I'm gonna let this keep kind of keep just coming at me like that. There you go. 
Another one. Awesome. That's a great fish too. Little rainbow. Healthy fish though. Nice. Ooh, great looking rainbow. It's about as healthy as they come. That doesn't even look like a hatchery fish. Okay. Look at this fly in his mouth. There you go. He's out of here. Healthy fish too, happy. It's weird, there's a barbless hug. That's the most stuck I've ever seen a barbless hug. Great fish just came right here. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, yep, there he is. Nice. It's a good fish, too. It's a nice fish. Great little brownie. Look at that thing. Oh, such a good looking fish. Long and pretty long and skinny, but I mean, still beautiful. Look at that thing. Nice and dark colors. Okay. Look at that thing. Let's get him out of here. Okay. That dude wrecked my rig here. Stand by. This is kind of where I was anticipating there being a lot of fish just because it's a nice meeting point of a river and a small little diversion where the water really, really slows down well. So let's see if we can get a couple more. I think we will. Ooh, great fish right here. Good fish just came up pretty aggressively. I bet I get him right here. Oh, there he is. Nice. I thought I, I thought I, I thought I was quite a ways past him, but I bet he came down to eat that. That's awesome. Another great fish. Oh, that's the best fish of the day so far. How beautiful these fish are. I mean, like that is such an incredible fish. Look at that thing. Beautiful white tip fins. Everything about them. Awesome. Let's see if there's anything else up here that wants to mess around. There we go. It's right in his line. Oh, big tail right here. I think he moved over a tiny bit. You can see quite a few fish coming up. Oh, got him. Oh, that's a great fish. Nice. That's the good one that was coming up. Oh, he's wrapping. Oh, shit. He's got me on a stick. Get out of there. Get out of there. There we go. Got him. Cool. Wow. What a beautiful fish. Holy cow. Oh, my gosh. That's a great fish. Look at that big guy. Holy cow. That's a great fish. Look how pretty he is. Obviously, he's not massive comparatively to other places. Oh, he's out of here. But for the specific river that I'm on, that is about as good of a fish as you can ask for. Oh, awesome. It's so rad. There's a nice indent right here that these fish are stacked in. Watch this. That was a garbage cast. There he is. Right away. Again, great fish. And on a horrible cast, too, by the way. Oh, so freaking rad. This is so fun. This is so close to my house. Oh, so fat, so healthy. Big happy hen. She's out of here. So cool. Ready? <laughs> This is so rad. And these are really, really, honestly, this is some of the most quality fish I've caught on this river in a long time. So I'm really happy to see this because that is another just phenomenal fish for this river. 
Like you guys are, I mean, this looks bigger than it is. This is a small river and this is a diversion on that small river. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. Beautiful, so awesome. Okay, check us out again, see if we can get another one. Now they're here, so they're stacked in here, it's so thick. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Beautiful. Be oh, oh, he's out of here. Quick release. Nice. I'm going to hit the off side of this run in the soft water. Try and get nice and deep. Maybe I'm too deep. Let's see. Oof. There you go. It's a little rainbow to me. Nice fish though, just healthy, pretty fish. Oh, so good, so good looking. Look at that chunky, healthy little rainbow. So cool. Okay, there are so many fish stacked in this run, it's ridiculous. Here we go, ready? Here's another one, I'm calling it. There you go, clockwork. And they're on, they're on, and they are on today. Oh, out of here. Okay, let's keep going up. I still see more fish coming up. Let's see if we can get another one. Right here. There you go. That's a great fish. Holy cow, it's a great fish. So pretty. Such a good looking brown. That's the biggest fish of the day. Great. Back at it. Ready? Ooh, saw a fish come up. I'm gonna get him. Ready? There he is. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Bummer. There you go. Oh. Nice. Oh, whoa. Seems like he's wrapped, yeah, he's a little wrapped up there. A little white fish, actually. Well, there you go, that's your Grand Slam. Out of here. All right. Quite certain I caught every fish that exists in this hole. <laughs> okay, so that run was absolutely ridiculous. That is a freaking deep run, too. But oddly enough, I didn't spook a fish just now. I really thought I would. I thought I was going to, I should say. That's where a big fish lives, I guarantee that though. Yikes. I'd like to find the big boy that lives in there. Huh. Well, on the bright side, it's a nice deep pocket right here. Not even deep, but an indent that uh, I feel will hold a fish. Oh, <laughs> that was a fish. <laughs> it's 
smack. There he is. Man, he smacked that. Hit that so hard that first time. <laughs> Still a great fish though, too. Man, this has been fun. I haven't fished around home in a while, and that's, I mean, that's a great fish. Maybe there's a good look. Let's see, it's right here. This would be a good tester. Oh, no way. <laughs> nice. I was lowering my rod tip to uh, get underneath that tree. I actually one fly on that, by the way. I just lost one in the tree. But I was like, uh, we'll see. And I lowered my rod tip to get underneath that tree, and I lowered it. Felt like it stopped, so I did a little half set, and sure enough, there he was. It was actually a pretty tasty looking little run. All right, I'm losing faith, homies. No way! <laughs> On that cast. <laughs> no way, that's so funny. <laughs> All right, and there's my last little buddy. Last one for the day. Awesome. Cool. Well, I just realized that my lens was on manual focus when I started the video, so probably looks kind of blurry. Sorry. Um, that was honestly one of the more fun days I've had fishing in a long time. Um, Got a bunch of fish on the Euro rig. They were all popping, eating, eating buffalo midges. And on my way back down, I, ha I have a caddis pattern in my box that I only brought my Euro box, just like some nymphs. And I put this caddis pattern on and just freaking start slaying these fish. Like <laughs> probably catch 10 fish up top and swinging like swinging it like it's a soft tackle. And it was just a super fun day and I had a really good time. Uh, Thanks for watching, you guys, uh, and I'll see you next week.